Hi guys, this is a video on a Linux distribution. Now if you can picture a Windows XP CD, a Windows Vista DVD and an Ubuntu Live CD and think about the sizes of them. Uh, Windows XP is what, 600 megabytes, Windows Vista is 4.7 gigabytes and Ubuntu Live CD is about 500-600 megabytes as well. Now there is a Linux distribution or there is a, a sort of a sport people do. They try and get a Linux version and get it as small as possible that's fully functional and running on a PC. Now the most popular of these is called Damn Small Linux and uh, I'll just show you the size of it. Now this is the live CD and it's 48.5 megabytes. So um, yeah that's <laughs> that's pretty small and it contains an entire operating system. Now I need to thank um, I think it was mag 2 stir or something like that who suggested getting an embedded version if you want to try and run this on Windows because what I'm going to be doing is showing you this inside a virtual machine using VirtualBox. Now I've done this with loads of my videos uh, just check back and you'll see a load of videos which I talk about installing stuff so <laughs> in a virtual machine anyway. So um, you might want to try out DSL embedded um, just to try on if you don't have VirtualBox and you just want to try out this damn small Linux try the embedded version um, now I'll just show you I think I just had a brief skin through the um, skin through the readme.txt and uh, you just double click DSL base now I did try this but um, when I went to show some of the applications it was quite slow for me even though I have quite a fast system so I'll be showing it inside a virtual machine anyway and uh, I suggest you try out this embedded as well if you don't have VirtualBox but anyway let's get started um, it's uh, already mounted, it's in the CD, DVD, ROM, DSL 4.2.5. These are both free to download. I'll provide the download links in the description and a download link to VirtualBox. So let's just start up Downsaw Linux. So I double click it. Now you have to be careful because uh, this is running in a virtual machine and because it's damn small Linux, it's not a um, fully supported thing um, by VirtualBox. When I go to click in and start moving my mouse, moving my mouse around, the screen recorder snaps away a little bit. But I'll I'll bring it back so you can see it working, just as a pre-warning. So I'm going to click clear, click in. As you can see, straight away it snapped away. I'm just going to press enter, and I'm going to come out of it to show you it booting. So uh, the one thing to keep in mind as this boots and as I show you the things inside the operating system, that it's 50 megabytes. So if you have a 64 megabyte pen drive that you've had like for a, for a year or something, or, or, or years even, um, you can just install this on it and it should work. So, um, but if you do try and do that, there is actually a pendrive.bat file, I think if you just run that using this embedded, you might be able to get that running. So anyway, um, this seems to have booted a lot faster than the embedded version as well, so I'm just going to show you this. It started with Dillo, getting started with DSL, so you can have a look at all the stuff that you can do, how to cut and paste, saving your configuration, what about Windows, because this is primarily aimed at the Windows user because obviously they've been getting a lot of uh, comments that there's no start button and things like that from Windows users. So I'm now going to click in and um, if you're not a big fan of Dillo um, and if you prefer Firefox, uh, you don't even have to download it. If I just quit this a second, I'm actually going to click and you'll notice this loaded up Firefox. It's actually got Firefox built into Downsmall Linux in this 50 megabyte file. So you can see it's got Downsmall Linux Firefox here. And um, as this is running in a virtual machine, I have full net access because it's going through the network. So I'm just going to go onto Google just to prove it. <laughs> just a random Google. And here we are on Google. So you can see it's um, got a full thing here. Now, if I show you the uh, desktop, sorry again for the snapping. Uh, you can see we've got the home thing, apps, my DSL and exit if you want to shut it down. Uh, over here we have statistics on the uh, site, if I try and move this out of the way. We have statistics on the actual machine and the um, home directory and the uptime. Again this is running off the live CD, it hasn't been installed. Um, I tried to install it on the virtual machine but it chucked me up with an error so um, do what you will. <laughs> and for all you Windows users, um, including myself really, uh, this is kind of like a Windows start bar. You'll notice we've got the clock in the corner, famous clock in the corner. It's got Google, which is the thing we've got open. These are four virtual desktops, so you can move things across if you want to, or just click them, or, or you can even go onto the application and right click and say send to. And um, I'll try and get this back down again. And uh, if I right click, here we go. And we've got Firefox, uh, not sure what the rest of these do, haven't really tried them. And uh, this is Show Desktop, and this is DSL, which is pretty much the same as the Start button in Windows. So I'm just going to open up the Start menu. Again, sorry for the snapping. 
It says uh, exit run help Excel system set up games. We'll just have a look at the games, shall we? They're included. And you can see that we've got Canfield, Free Cell, Golf, Mastermind, Minesweeper. So a lot of Windows style games that they've got put on this Dance for Linux. And again, picture 50 megabytes for the entire operating system. Now, with the applications, there's a load that you can do here as well. Uh, one I'm going to pick out most is the Office, because you actually got they've actually included a Word viewer and a PDF document viewer, calculator calendar, and um, word processing. So you can start word processing now. Um, there's other things as well. You got uh, MP3 players, net things, and uh, I suppose you're thinking to yourself, yes, yeah, this is a great toy and everything. But what you're actually going to use it for? Well, I suppose in a way you could use this for recovery of your um, if you bugger up XP or Vista or whatever. You may be. Able, I'm not sure if it's got NTFS 3G access uh, through this. It should do, um, but you can just access your drive or mount your drive and access it, and then recover your data from it if you somehow ruin your Windows. So you can see that this is a great. Um, little tiny um, operating system. I do know that they've got um, they've managed to get Linux uh, a Linux distribution down. So I think it was like five meg or ten meg or something. But I just like the way they've got everything here, and it looks it helps us Windows users because it's got Taskbar and it's got plenty of applications included, and it's so small and it'll fit on a small pen. And also, I believe the minimum requirements are something like a four eight six computer, and um, I think it was like. 8 megabytes of RAM or something stupid like that, <laughs> 32 megabytes of RAM, um, but yeah, it just seems great to use, I mean, you've got full net access, you might just want to try this out, um, just have a have a taste of what these mini Linux distributions are like. So uh, that's about it really, so thanks for watching my video, again, try the ISO in a virtual machine, or try the embedded if you don't want to bother with the ISO, but again, um, thanks to mag 2 stir for his heads up. Uh, but for some reason mine was really slow so I couldn't really show you because I clicked Firefox and nothing happened for about 5 minutes and it came up. <laughs> so um, just showing you it in a virtual machine. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.